Peace and love back again. Yes, oh, me. This views 29, my brethren, Blue Pillar, back, back again. Second time building. catching up this summer, man. I know you, you on the push, but I know you got a word for us, man. What's going on, bro? I just got back uh -huh. from Atlantis, Georgia. I just came back from a psychedelic trip. So I just came back from the other side. Okay. Okay. With updated information, you know, endless inspiration. So I had to press the lens on today. Today yes. is 8-8. Eight, eight. This is the Lions Gate portal opening. Okay. This is when the, the Sirius constellation is perfectly aligned with the Pyramids of Giza. Mm -hmm. This is the ancient, archaic information that your ancestors tapped into, and they set the, the, the pyramids up for that particular reason to be a calendar on this particular planet and a reminder and a resonator and a container, mm -hmm. okay, for the cosmic energy and a cosmic imperative to be contained and stored and readily available to be used at all times. Why is it significant? to Atlanta because Atlanta shares the same longitude and latitude line with the pyramids, with Giza. So it's tapped in by way of the earth, by way of the cosmos though, the pyramids are tapped into Sirius, okay, which is our mother sun, the sun behind the sun. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So today, Sirius, Sathis, right? As they call her in Greek. Uh -huh. Right? Candace Major, as they also call her in the cosmos, the, the dog star. Uh -huh. Right? Fair. Our set is a female dog. Uh -huh. Or what you would call a bitch. Don't get lost in the connotations in the translation. Uh -huh. You understand? I don't know who put that thing in motion, but it kind of like they damned, they damned and castigated something that was so divine and holy because you can't say one without saying the other. Right, right. All right. So this is all coming on the heels, of course, of the total lunar eclipses that we just came through. The blood moon, the super blood moon that took place on July 28th. That was connected to the, uh, the solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse that took place on July 12th, the new moon solar eclipse. Now all of this is also connected to the total eclipse that we experienced last year, August 21st. Uh -huh. Okay, that was seen in the, in, in, in the quote-unquote Americas. Yeah. And then we have another solar eclipse that's coming on July, on August 11th. You know, this a few days away, dealing yeah. with this new moon solar eclipse energy. So, uh -huh. we are, and all of the, you know, the planets are retrograde, and it's just mad stuff taking place right now. Ray shut down your soundboard, and the score was 44 to round ball. What a conundrum, dun dun. You know, Thanks. how do the cosmic energies materialize themselves on the earthly plane of existence to show you our connection and our correspondence to the celestial bodies? It exemplifies itself and it plays itself out in a theater of quote unquote humanity mm -hmm. as we are walking representations of the stars with stardust. You know what I'm saying? We have these cosmological imperatives based on our zodiac charts and things of that nature where, you know, we represent all of those planets in motion in real time. Salute to the God. Peace. Peace. No, right? definitely. So, Brother Spad. As, as his, his teachings will have him attest to, you know what I'm saying? The melanated man is the cream of the crop, owner of the universe and everything. But what does that mean? It means that you have a relationship, a symbiotic relationship with the cosmos as without, so within. Uh -huh. You dig what I'm saying? So we can Absolutely. embrace this relationship 
and not be cognizant of the portal openings, of the the, 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 the juncture points, the no points mm -hmm. in that relationship. Mm -hmm. So a day like today is one of those particular no points. This lion gates open is something that the family needs to be cognizant of. The available energy that's um, on the planet at this time, you know, what, 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 what's the language that the cosmos is speaking? What's the story that's being told? Mm -hmm. Because we are so caught up in these narratives, whether it's a Moorish narrative, a RBG narrative, a Hebrew Israelite narrative, the Rasta's got a narrative, Nation of Gods and Earth, everyone has a narrative, mm -hmm. but. What we're not focusing enough is the cosmic origins that kind of blend all of those narratives together. Fair. Because I can go through each one of them and show you how they have a cosmic narrative, how they have a cosmic directive. But what's your yeah. cosmic directive? What did you come here for? And how can you prove it to yourself? Not to me, but to yourself. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And what is the through way that man should, you know, find himself venturing on what road should he be traveling on to get closer to a gnosis of himself right you know what I'm saying I assess this map the stars and utilize that mm -hmm. if nothing else not as if not so much as directors but as reminders you know what I'm saying as they own GPS as to where they need to be going how they need to be getting there the effectiveness and the efficiency of those coordinates have always led our people in the right direction even Harriet Tubman had to use the stars to get your black ass free. Facts. <laughs> so, when the hell did you, mm -hmm. the ones that's always talking about upholding their ancestors and this that, when did mm -hmm. you abandon it? Mm -hmm. In place of what? Right. Now you lost, I wonder why. Right. Feel me? Yeah. So, opportunities such as today, opportunities such as, you know, the, 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 the strain of events that I have been explaining from mm -hmm. here on, who knows when. Right on. Always leads you back to a proper and concise knowledge of yourself. Right. Why you choose to venture on another road or, or you know, like ants, you burrowing under the ground and you're following all of that shit, I have no idea. Word. Facts, bro. No question. The blue steel on the blue moons, hot as blue flames, doing blue shrooms. Got the blueprints, leaving blues clues. All this blue money that I blew through. I am a king. I am a scholar. I am from royalty. I am T'Challa. Wakanda forever. Killmonger forever. I'm true to Shambhala. I'm new to Kabbalah.